This is an NBC30 public affairs presentation, Black Perspective. Of course, I come from West Indian roots too, and I'll tell you, I live in a, a, a large West Indian community in Bloomfield, and people were setting off firecrackers. <laughs> One of my neighbors um, had her three boys running down the middle of the street at 10 o'clock at night. They're my practice, they're my practice. <laughs> You know, so it was a wonderful thing. She's getting them ready. I said, well, where the yellow yam? You know, them need yellow yam because that's why the same one. That, you know, they, they said that's all they ate was yellow yam. As a matter of fact, I heard that somebody sent them some boxes of yellow oh, yeah. yam, you know. So uh, I'm just so proud, so proud. Yeah, that together. was great. Um, Everybody knows Julian Bond and everything that he brings to the table, and he's a fabulous man, and he's done great work with the NAACP. I'm interested to see what the new guy is going to bring as well as president and CEO. And Ben Jealous, and for you ladies at home, when you see him, <laughs> you'll know why his name is Jealous. Because you'll all be Tell jealous <laughs> that you're not with him. But Ben Jealous is, oh, um, you know, a Columbia grad, a Rhodes Scholar. Um, he headed up the Rosenberg Foundation. He was the past executive director of the National Newspaper Publishers Association. So he brings a wide variety of experience to an office that I think needs to be rejuvenated and invigorated. Mm -hmm. Not to forget our history with Julian mm -hmm. Bond but also to take us into the next. Sweet. Around my sister's kids and the oldest one, Trey, wants to be president. He already asked me, like, what's the test that you take? I felt bad <laughs> I had to tell him, there is no test. There's a test for cosmetology, <laughs> somebody paint your nails, but there's no, pre there's no test for president. But he is already thinking at six years old, what, what is it that I need to it's do possible. so that yeah. I can be president? And uh, it's back when the kings of comedy uh, came to the Hartford Civic Center. Yeah, mm -hmm. It was that. still called the Hartford that. Civic remember Center. Yeah. And I had a chance to talk with each one of them, but by far he was my favorite. Why? He, um, was down to earth and um, wanted to give me that time. I told him, you know, I'm just writing for this small African American newspaper, mm -hmm. and you know, I'd like to interview you for, for a few minutes. And it wasn't wait five minutes. It wasn't oh, I'll I'll talk to you later. It was let me talk to you right now. And I just you. let me talk to you. <laughs> and he gave me the once over. Let me talk to you. And you know, I laughed, and and, and he was just as jovial, and he's a warm spirited man, yeah. and you could tell that. Um, the humbleness never left him. I yeah. like him. He um, has West Indian roots, so of course I love him. <laughs> him from Yard. And um, him from Yard, him from Bacayad. But um, I think he brings to the office something that we haven't had before, which is a different perspective. And I'm willing to take a look at people and, and that have a different perspective, that are going to bring a different viewpoint, that um, are really, really ready to put that kind of bite on crime. And that's mm. what we need. Mm -hmm.